twice too. See, that's the thing. It does pitiful damage on the individual hit. Yeah, but I mean, like, e even if they're just, like, shitty 22 rounds, like, if you get hit by five or six of them, that will stop you. Yeah. And that tends to be the case in this game, too. Like, it, it, it's actually a thing where, like, in fights, if you get shot with a 22 round, always very um, important to us here and this is also a really good line. If you have any problems with trouble or sudden aching pains, contact our nurses at the nearest nursing station. Um, and like in real life, if you get shot with a 22 round and you're super high on adrenaline in the middle of a fight, there's a solid chance that you just won't notice. Like, it'll hurt like hell after the fight, but during the fight, you might not notice that you got shot. Uh, in fact, Andrew Jackson um, got shot with a low-caliber bullet uh, during a speech didn't notice, and continued to give the speech with the bullet in him. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt, oh, well, he did notice, but yeah, he also did the same thing. Yep. Then again, Andrew Jackson was a prolific duelist, by some accounts, uh, killing hundreds of people in, in, uh, duels. And, uh, in one particularly spectacular one, um, oh, this vagina face thing again. he actually let his opponent shoot him first before returning fire with a fatal shot. Guns. Yeah, maybe I should. His opponent was like a really good marksman. Yeah. So he tried to scare him into shooting early by and like faking a shot. Yeah. So he shot early and and caught Jackson in the shoulder, and then Jackson had all the time in the world to line up a perfect headshot. You have to stand there and take it in the duel. Yep. Uh, apparently, in dueling etiquette, though, um, if your opponent has already fired his round and you haven't fired yours. You can simply fire yours into the air, and you will be considered the winner. But Jackson decided, no, I want to kill this man. Freedom of Jackson information thought is to always himself, very you know, important to us. That sounds like the wimpy solution. If you have any problems, I believe his actual, um, his actual, actual fight. Is, I'm, I'm not going to get the actual wording properly. But what he said was, um, uh, my opponent shot to kill. Why shouldn't I? Not wrong. Well, a lot of people criticize him because he didn't have to kill the dude. But, I mean, he's not really in the wrong for having done it. I mean, it all depends on your point of view, right? Like, it is technically self-defense. Well, you're in a duel. Both of you have signed away, like, not assault. It's just annoying to fight. Maybe I can redo this game with my skaters. Every time you say skaters, all I think is fucking like skaters. Skaters? Yeah, like. Oh, mosquitoes. Yeah. God damn it. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, just do it. Okay. Uh, I've had it up to here with this. Alright, switching people. Ah, uh, my leg. Oh, fuck. I don't even know how long we've been recording for. Me neither. I think this might be the horror game we do for the night. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I'm getting no sound. Yeah, it's still in the other room. Hold on, I think you're... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I had to turn yep. it off a bit. No, I... like, it went from nothing to, like, normal immediately. Yeah. Was it muted? Uh, I had it on really low, just uh, because until you plugged your headphones in, I didn't want the fucking microphone picking the shit up. Okay. Freedom of information is always very important. Where's the to cop zombie? Never there he is. The hospital. If you have any problems, trouble, or sudden aching pains, I can't tell if he has a knife stick or not, or if he's got a knife stick. And they will be Looks happy like to help you along. Went all akimbo. Yep. But yeah, I, I, I love that line. Uh, if you're in pain, uh, tell a nurse and they'll help you on your way. It's right over there, darling. There was actually a really good, um... Do you ever go to Disney World? Uh... When I was really young, so I have vague fever dream memories of it. Okay. Uh, did you go on the Haunted Mansion ride as a kid? No. Okay. Well, uh, there's a narrator in the beginning, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think you mentioned this way, way back when we were playing Silent Hill and they had the, uh, haunted house that was kind of themed like it, except it was actually haunted. Yeah. That was super on the nose. I loved it. Yeah. 
but uh, yeah because at first you're just like oh this is just campy nonsense and then it was actually haunted and we're like oh <laughs> never mind this yeah. is actually good it's good campy nonsense yeah. like like resident evil 4 yeah Let's face it, that's all Resident Evil 4 is. Just well-executed, campy nonsense. Well, no, it's it's pretty legit for a Resident Evil game, anyway. Yeah. But then they all started becoming stupid and irreverent, and, like, Resident Evil 4 is the only one that did that well. Yep. Which is why it's still the high watermark for that series. Well, like, that's the thing. Like, there have been some that are all right... But yeah, no, I think Resident Evil 4 is probably the best, just because... I'm gonna say Resident Evil 4 was just a well-executed game that came out at the perfect time for that style yep. of game to come also, out. Also, this is some bullshit. Uh, see this right here? Yeah. This big electric thing? Yeah. You have to knock the cap off this, and then chuck that in there. Where's the... Where's the what? Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Where's the kaboom? God damn Maybe it. Maybe you throw the other one in? Go in. Fuck! Fucking game! Is there something I forgot to do? I was gonna say, maybe you need to shoot the, uh... Is there a switch I didn't pull? Shoot the jars, not the... No, you have to shoot the cap off it. I know that. Did I, like, skip a step? Am I just dumb? I have no idea, man. Like, you're the one who's played this before, not me. There's a high voltage thing right there. Never mind. It was just the dark room. The console is no. yeah. oh, okay. Find another way to shut it down. Oh, now it goes. You did it. Yeah, Fucking video you game. Uh, you well, that's a thing that happened. Yeah, see, you fine. broke that. You literally broke sequence. Hmm. Well, uh, report the bug to the devs, who are me, who won't care. You're not even the devs, or whatever you call the fucking subscriber. I'm like the IT guy who stepped in and did the work at the end. Please evacuate area immediately. Run, stupid. This is not a system test. Can't go that way. Also, it's not letting me switch guns. Maybe I'm out of bullets. It's very possible. Nay, mm. likely. Fuck it. I'm just gonna dodge. Help, kid. Oh man, so I got a comic book recently, which is a Star Wars comic. Okay. Of uh, pretty much Help, Darth kid. Vader gets sent to this. That's just a pit to hell. Yep. Uh, Darth Vader gets sent to this one planet because a bunch of assholes on it are planning on rebelling. And it's pretty much just like a horrifying um, lava planet where like they mine ores. Okay. And um, so yeah. like Mustafar. Kind of, but uh, the entire thing is that like a uh, group of aristocrats took over the planet. Yep. So now like, you know, there's the ruling class, and they have all these dumb rituals because the entire planet is based around pretty much just appeasing ruling class assholes. Okay. Uh, so Vader goes down. And, uh, one of the aristocrats is like, my daughter wants to dance. And Vader's just, and like, the person who's escorting like Vader- Like, with Vader? Yeah. And the person who's escorting Vader's like, I really don't recommend this. <laughs> and the guy's like, no, I insist. If you're here, you have to dance. So Vader's like, you want to dance? And he just starts force choking the guy and ball dancing <laughs> as the guy's just tumbling above him. Then he chucks him into a pillar and he's like, well, does anyone else want to be my partner? <laughs> Look, nobility's all well and good, but when someone's a magical space wizard with, yeah, a, with, fuck a, off. <laughs> with a laser sword, maybe yeah. do what they tell you. Yeah. Oh, man. And then there's, like, a long rebellion plot. Vader kills the entirety of the royal family, except for, like, the little brat, and is just like, alright, you're in charge now. Do you still want to dance? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, it's a different brat. <laughs> okay. She's like, like he's like, you're in charge now. And she's like, why? You broke all the judges. And she's like, yeah, I'd make new ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I have a gift for your dad. And she he gives her a rock. And she's like, what is it? He's like, that's all that's left of Alderaan. <laughs> Fucking remember your face. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> so is it actually a rock from Alderaan? Or yeah, it... it was just a piece of Alderaan <laughs> in a fancy box. <laughs> and he's like, you know, fucking, do you get the message? Do you see what I'm trying to say here? Don't make me dance. Yeah. <laughs> Sith Lords. Also, uh, so it's the Marvel series. <sighs> Which has been pretty good, all things considered. Like, um... Uh, they, uh, so the Vader series, he has, like, some comedic, uh, side characters. One of which is a, Oh, uh, I found your friend, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, he's he, fine. He's alright. He's, he's with the man. He's made new friends. With the floor. Yeah. And the ceiling. And the mannequins. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, um... God, what was I gonna say? Yeah. Uh, the Vader series has been pretty good. It's pretty much about Darth Vader having to deal with a bunch of uh, upstart Loading punks ah. that opening. come around because uh, after the Death Star exploded, everyone's just like, Oh, Vader's not hot shit. I could be the new hotness. And Vader constantly reminds them that no, no, they cannot. <laughs> but uh, he's got some like uh, side characters. Uh, my, one of uh, A pair of which is like an evil version. Oh, really good lines coming up. From the intercom or one of the soldiers? One of the soldiers. But it says it on the thing. Yeah, I can read it. Fucking road flares. You know, I'm pretty sure real road flares last longer. Oh yeah, they do. Because you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the line, but it's also good. Oh, I think they skipped the line. What God was the line? It was like, uh, man, wouldn't it be terrible if some flaming homeless man came running down this tunnel? <laughs> Does one do that? No. Really close, though. Oh, but yeah, what was that? Yeah. So he's got, like, an evil version of r 2 um, which are a pair of decommissioned droids who were decommissioned because they are sociopaths. Okay. So, uh, like, C-4PO? Uh, no, um, the, the protocol is triple zero, and the robot is easy. Okay. Um, or the uh, astromech. And the entire thing is, like, the astromech is just filled with guns, while triple zero is, like, knives and poisons. Okay. And nine times out of ten, Vader just uses them as very messy assassins. <laughs> Vader doesn't care about stealth. No, I mean, he's not stealthy. You know he's in a room. You can hear him. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I remember playing um, uh, Rogue Trader with Chris a while back, and uh, he basically wanted to turn his character into Darth Vader. Yeah. Uh, and he basically uh, replaced a shitload of his parts with uh, metal bits yep. to give himself uh, some natural armor and some strength and toughness increases. Yep. Uh, but one of the trade-offs is that his agility fell sharply, and he automatically failed all stealth tests. Yeah. That makes sense. Another locked door. Great. Hey, get into that vent up there. See How are we supposed to do that? Oh, man, what was it? Um... Yeah, it's, uh, you know all those doors we blew before? We're yeah. not gonna blow this one. <laughs> We're gonna make you climb on a forklift to... This is a blatant disregard for forklift safety. Oh, man. Oh, God. Well, um, but yeah, no, uh... There's a great scene where he has, like, his two droids. Yep. And he sent them ahead. Uh, he's like, alright, like, to, to make sure he had his own little private army so that the Emperor wouldn't know what the fuck he's doing in the background because Vader keeps disobeying orders to hunt down the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Um, he got his own private army, by which I mean he stole an old Trade Federation, um, uh, what's it called? Ship? Uh, no. Battle, like, oh god, what are they called? Commando droid, uh, manufacturing devices. Okay. That just, you just dump scrap metal in it and it pops out a squad of commando droids. <laughs> That's awesome. So he's hired a person to constantly be filling it with scrap metal. And the droids are coming out. Okay. And apparently, uh, Triple Zero has reprogrammed them, because 
Triple Zero has been like given that restraining bolt that forces his loyalty. Yep. But he's ref he's made the droids loyal to him. So like they are loosely daisy chained. See, now this door is fucking locked yes. and they blow this one. 